What do you think? Yes. You reckon? How much? Yes. We're looking at 3 95 though. Yep. Look, yeah. look at them. There's some good stuff in here. In there, but like Beanie Babies. But I don't like doing Beanies. How about some Disney stores? Mickey, how much is he? Probably he's nine quid. I'm good. Nine. Nine quid. You're joking. It's nine quid. It's not special. Oh, it's it's so good. Really, twenty quid. Look at the handles. It's so like. I don't know. Don't you really not? No. <laughs> this, is, really not? this is what you want, isn't it? <laughs> we don't need it. It is. I'll, give it, I'll tell you what. It is nice, but we don't need it. Oh. No, we don't need. Why do we even look at the furniture? We don't need it anymore. Because we can buy furniture because we got it so cheap. <laughs> yeah. As and when we see more stuff, we can just like get. Yeah. Fifty-five pounds. What? Why? On the hunt for a bargain. Four ninety-nine. What's he selling that? About ten or something. I don't know. I can't find it. Mm, it's quite cool with, the, with the proper badge in it. It's a Liverpool one. I think it's legit. I, I mean, I'd say so. I think if it was cheap, it wouldn't have the proper metal stud, would it? Okay, I've got some stuff on my hand. I can't really show you guys. New work shirt up because it's just orange, and I can't. I don't often find them. It's only four quid. Pretty much brand new. Okay. Because all my stink and I've lost the colour. Sorry, I'm having trouble. Yeah. 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 And then this. Not much money in it, but just to play. Yeah, I think this is like Cluedo, but Sherlock Holmes version, £2.50. I'm having it. So we just found this bad boy. I'm so gutted that this is sealed because I really want to watch it. <laughs> I think you can probably get this on the catch up on Sky though, to yeah. be honest. Ancient Aliens. Love it. No, Love it. No, £2.50, about 25 quid. Seasons 1 and 2, and then some specials as well. My nan's parking in front. Great, isn't it? Oh, gosh. We just bumped into mum and nan in, in the charity shop, and then nan was like, okay, when you see my parking, don't judge me by it. <laughs> and uh, nan, we're judging you by it, to be honest. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Hope you're having a great day, by the way. Started the vlog in a charity shop, didn't we? So we couldn't really start it. It's basically, it's the afternoon on a Friday, so yeah, we, we went to Greg's. We used to go Subway every Friday, you know, and then they keep upping the prices, and we decided, you know Literally not. every week, yeah. like, what's And it's always it? different, and it's always, it's never that nice anymore. They can't ever seem to make a good sandwich. And uh, we just decided, you know I'm not, we're not going anymore. It's turned into being, like, ten quid for for two. We don't even have full meals, man. We just couldn't yeah, justify just it anymore. And, uh, yeah, Subway, if you're watching, get it together, man. Like, I used to work there, and so we used to, I don't know, and it always used to be dirt cheap, and it was always good, and then nowadays, it's crap. They've changed everything. So this has just turned into a vlog of a slagging Subway off. <laughs> uh, they're going to go bunk, man, I'll tell you. They've People are going to just going to stop going because it's so expensive for just a sandwich. The reason it was so good is because, like, the, um, we're really dark. Oh, gosh, we've gone into the car park. Because it was, like, a £3 sub deal. That With a drink. Way. Anyway, we've started going to Greg's. But now Greg's problem is that they charge you loads more for eating in yet. So today we were like, oh yeah, we'll eat in. It's really hot. I don't know. And you pay like, okay, it doesn't sound like a lot, but we're poor. And it's like a pound fifty extra on the whole meal to eat in. Have a little seat. Yeah, and also there's like five seats. We turned around, not a single seat free. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I said, to the, I had to say to the woman, I paid extra to eat in, but there's not any seats. And uh, it turned out she hadn't charged us anyway to eat in, so I was like, whatever, I'm, I'm not paying. <laughs> but then a seat did come free. And we enjoyed a horrible Greg's that was cold. Yeah, um, it was cold. I had a pumpkin spice latte that was gross. Um, I don't know what to tell you, our Fridays have gone to pot. But anyway, we went to some charity shops and we've made a bit of money potentially. So yeah, we're going to have a look at them. Especially that now Stacey's... Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it on the vlog? Yeah, it depends what you say. That you contemplate leaving work? Oh yeah, but I can't. I'm contemplating, but it's not like I can. Well, yeah, but I mean, we're trying to get the reselling a bit more on the go. How am I going to get in here? That's good, you got it. You got it, Martin. Sorry guys, I just pulled into a space. Yeah, so Stacey's thinking about leaving work, but to do that, she's going to need to uh, make some good money from the reselling. <laughs> okay, do you need to see this book? <laughs> so in the I one... I don't think you can see it, can you? Yeah, but show them. It's a photography book, guys, but basically Stacey's just a perv. She picked up this book of naked ladies. Can't can't get a good shot of the arse. There you go. Oh, it's arty, is it? It's, it's arty. arty. It's not pervy that there's a whole book of bums. But anyway, this... No, it's arty. Uh, it's arty. Arty? Let's see, there's not going to be one now. It's not going to be bums, is Look, there? Look, it's Find not a bum. Like... I want to see a bum. <laughs> it's not. Ah! 
What do you call that? That's not vlog friendly. <laughs> so this was about two quid. Let's do a little haul before we go and find my mum and you dad again. You know when you've got naked photography, it's going to be worth money. Yeah, probably. You just know. And this was this like, was... only two have sold you. One was about 35 quid and one was about... It was like from France or something, but it was over a hundred quid with about thirty pound postage. That's not for Jackson's sister, is it? Is it? Wasn't a... Latoya, that one. Latoya. There's there's a Latoya. Oh, is it too? Yeah. He's got a lot of siblings. Oh, no, it is her. Yeah. Latoya. It looks like. Her. Oh, look at that! <laughs> what the hell? Why is the tits and elephants? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, what else do we buy? Let's give you a little rundown. There was all of, we bought a load of these, man. We bought some the other week and we've listed them for a lot. Um, Laura Ashley, two of Laura Ashley wallpapers. These are all a pound of roll. They'll bundle for probably about 15 quid for the two, I would expect. Do you think it would? Princess Diana. Can you listen? Ah, really? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's so fun, isn't it? How much for two Laura Ashleys? 25. All in, you reckon? This is a guess. Yeah, and the other two are called Shand. Kid, it looks Welsh or something. Uh, we've got four rolls of those at a pound each. They will bundle for about 25 quid all in. Yeah, with uh, six quid postage, someone sold it for, yeah, so it's nice, think. isn't it? I think that was it on the reselling Fine. front, other than the crazy ancient aliens history channel thing, which is amazing. And I wish that it was not sealed because I want to watch it. I might just have to get it on Sky or maybe buy it off Stace. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, we've got about a bet we've got over a grand in unlisted stuff. No. No, we have. I'm telling you. No, Jamie. Pubs, we've got so many board games that are worth like 50 quid each. No, We've Jamie. got shed loads. <laughs> we, we're going to go around some more charity shops, home bargains, and then have a coffee. So let's see what we get. Okay. What they're playing at. Although, to be fair, we already found out our two weeks at Tesco's already got their stuff in, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Christmas one side, Halloween the other. Oh, right, okay. We, I don't know what we're going to do this year, Halloween, because of what everyone in the flat does about trick-or-treaters. I don't know, because we've got obviously got a communal joint front door. How do we open answer the door, trick or treaters? It... <laughs> oh my god, is that? Oh, help me out. Should we start buying some decks? Some good decks. <laughs> then if you guys can Oh my god! Oh we seem to come out of it. There was just so much foggy like I don't know if it was frost or fog. Maybe a bit of both. But it was, uh, it's the next morning by the way, <laughs> if you hadn't guessed from the, from the foggy, frosty morning looking. But yeah, Stacey's dropping back it, that clock's wrong, so it's about half six. And it's clear, man, that's crazy. <laughs> I just got the camera out to show you, it was so foggy. It's just the Yeah, it was all sitting on the field and then the, the road dips a bit. As we went into the dip, the fog was above us and then we came back through it, it was really cool. Uh, no, it's just it's not foggy, so I'm, I'm sorry to have woke you up. Oh, there we go, that was foggy. Woke you? <laughs> yeah, I woke them up early. Here we go, this is the fog, we're back in it. Wow, you can't see anything over there. Usually, I suppose it doesn't mean anything to you guys, because you don't know what it usually looks like, but usually you can see fields and stuff. How are you doing? I'm doing job. how are you doing? I'm not doing too bad, I'm really tired though. I feel like I'm always tired. <laughs> Guys, it's a few hours later. We had a good day. I've finished work. Stace has finished work, obviously, in the back of the flat. I just had two little bit of tidying up, a bit of washing up before we do a bit of dinner. Yeah. I am because. Well, yeah, well, they've got to do the washing up, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are we. The problem is, yeah. Uh, let me just carry this stuff while I talk to you. But we keep. We keep letting it. Well, no, we don't keep letting it, actually. It's only every now and again. I let the washing build up, like if we haven't had. Uh, here, like last night we went to my parents' house, we watched the film, we watched uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's with my mum and dad, and so we had tea there. So if we don't have tea here, I don't do the washing up because like, it's usually part of the process, so I have to do the washing up and then cook the tea. So uh, yeah, I've like, it's built up for a few days, so now I've got to quickly wash it, and that's probably going to be a bit minging, protein shaker. <laughs> because I bought this at the start of the year, man, you guys, if you're watching long enough, you might even remember it. All this protein and some vitamins, because I have these vitamins because I eat veggies, so I just like, when I remember to, which isn't very often, I have a B12, a flaxseed oil, which is like a fish oil, but a veggie version, and some vitamin D3, a bit of creatine, because the only way of getting natural creatine in your diet is from like beef and stuff, and red meats, and then a bit of protein as well. And um, yeah, I haven't been having it for months, but then now we've moved out and I can just get it, and it's just there, so every day I'll be like, oh yeah, I haven't had my vitamins today. I can remember saying them, speaking of which, didn't have them yesterday, I haven't had them yet. So I'm gonna bed tidy it up.
Guys, about... That was years ago, wasn't it? Maybe five years ago, maybe even longer, you know? I think that was like, maybe even eight years or something. My nan, Nanny Pickett, if you're watching Nan, I don't even know if you remember buying this, bought this for Stace as a Christmas present. It's a little bear that is really heavy, he's nice, he's amazing. And uh, when you microwave him, he smells of lavender and then he heats up, it's like a microwavable one. But with microwaving just and he stinks. And it's probably because he's so old, like the lavender inside's probably all grim. Or whatever is inside, so we're gonna cut him open and see if we can empty him out, wash him, and restuff him with some like I don't know, some beads or something mm. to like wind up because he's such a nice little bear. So okay, we're gonna open him up and see what's inside. Okay. Okay, where's the operation taking place? Just here. Well, I need to be near a bin. Where, where do we put over? Where's the seam? Don't know. Don't know. Oh my god, we're gonna open him via the gooch. <laughs> Oh my god, surgery is happening. Would it be easier with the Stanley Glide, do you think? I bet. Must be a steam here or something. Yeah, just do it. I oh. can't do it, it stinks. Is he that bad? Okay, I'll really do it all. bad. I wasn't doing put, the bad. Put your hair down. Good work to do here. Come on, bear. Show us your drink. Mm. I'm just going to do it straight down there. Okay. Oh, man, it does stink. It's coming. It's coming. Should we just empty him? Shall we? Yeah. Yeah, just empty him. Like a bag or something. Should we? Should we empty him into the bucket? No. Should I bin away? I've got a bag here. You've got rice in here. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> what does this smell so bad? The beads have just gone off either the seeds. Like. Do you think they've gone off? I reckon they're just old. Yeah. You have to wash these scissors now. Yeah. Oh! Mm. Nice. Oh my gosh. It's just a husk. A husk of a bear. Oh! oh. That's gross. That's eh? really gross. He started to smell the other day, didn't he? Yeah, I noticed a bit of a And then pong. I thought if we microwave it, maybe that'll help. Oh. Look at him! Alright, he's all big, he's working his arms and stuff. Are they? Yeah. Come on, Mr. Bear. As if he was just full of seeds, man, that's crazy. No, right, look what this bear was full of. I mean, this might be really dangerous. What is it, mate? <laughs> I don't know, they're microwavable. They are just natural seeds, though, to be fair. They're lucky, aren't Oh! Mr. Bear. I think I've got stuff in at home we can use. Yeah. Oh, that's getting loads out. What happened then? Just got his leg out. I feel like, um, does anyone else watch that repair shop? I'm probably on watch that now. It's right. so good. It's got that dude, Jeb Les, from um, Money, for Money for Nothing. And he's from Wolverhampton. And guess what? Me and Jamie saw him, didn't we? We did. In Mary Ellen. Is that Jeb Les? <laughs> He's like, he paints some furniture, it's really cool. Wish I could paint furniture, but, you know. Too much going on. It's like all, it's like those little hobbies I'd love to do, but it's just no time. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, on that programme, there's these two ladies uh, that fix really old bears, and they like take all the stuff in out, and wash them, and this is what I feel like we're doing. And you've got the apron on. <laughs> the hipster maker's apron. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie wears an apron to do the washing well, up. Well, I've got a shirt yeah. on that would have shown wet marks, so I was like, I'm not going to get this all wet. You don't want to show wet. Thanks for doing my bear. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, teddy bear's on the mend. He's uh, been sprayed with some Febreze. He's sitting up there. We're going to see if we can get some beads. I'm going to have a bit of this. I'm only going to have my creatine today. This stuff helps with... I've, get, I've talked through all this before. You know, but it was like a year ago, so I'm going to do it again. This stuff I have for... Um, I can't get it off one hand. It's good for muscle recovery, and like I say, yeah, you usually get it in uh, beef and red meat. That's like the only natural way of getting it. So obviously, as a vegetarian, I'm not having any. So you gotta have like summer day. It's good for yeah, good for muscle recovery and just loads of good stuff in your body. So I was like, well, if I'm having none in my natural diet, like I should probably have some. Yeah, I'm not having any protein, so 
at a lot today, <laughs> but I probably shouldn't. So yeah, and then I'm gonna have these. Vitamin B12, that's good for your brain. Um, that you're getting meat and things like eggs and milk. So you do get some as a veggie, you don't really get any as a vegan. So I have it just in case. I always get these mixed up. Is vitamin D the one you get from the sun? Or is that vitamin C? Vitamin D from the sun, sunny D. Oh yeah, sunny D. So vitamin D is from the sun and vitamin C is from oranges, isn't it? Yeah. What? Are you impressed? I am, you're really clever to be honest. And then that one again is for the brain and that is from flaxseed obviously because it's flaxseed oil. <laughs> but yeah, it, it does the job of omega-3s which are from fish. So these are all good veggie things, man. And D3, again, I think that's good for your brain. And it's good for, um, do you do MS? Because mum's got MS. And then vitamin D3 and, bit, and then MS have got some, I don't really know what I'm talking about, to be honest. I, just, I thought you were in the front, you scared me then. She came from that way when I thought she was already in there. Good stuff, good stuff, and tablets. And this looks gross, and you know what? It looks like it would go down like, um, I don't know, is it bicarb? That's horrible. What you have for like stomach acid and stuff. But it, it's, it's alright, it's funny, it doesn't really taste like anything. Oh god, trying to do a four in one go. Oh. It's weird though, it doesn't taste like anything, but it's, it's weird.